to welterweight bout between Jorge Masvidal and Steven Thompson. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Thompson's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed a kick with so much force. Watch knees to the body. Big knee to the body. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Shot like that to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, huge kick to the head. He checks that leg kick. Big kick lands. Big knee lands there. Oh, straight right. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch lands over the top. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Masvidal. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Sneaky head kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice overhand left. And another one lands flush there by Jorge Gamebred Mosquito. And he switches to South Park. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Start around two now, DC. Jorge Mosby. Ready? As is Steven Thompson. Fight. Wonder Boy gets touched by that kick there. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big knee. Oh, there. His opponent could be out of here 
soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Wonderboy Thompson. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Massive knee to the body land. Oh, and another knee by Thompson. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. One minute. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand in boxing anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch by Jorge, game bred Masvidal. Oh, lands an elbow, didn't open him up, but very well could have. Yes, they heard him in the last round, same exact one. What a wrestler, that was an amazing takedown. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. He a lot of fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's gotta move, John. He's gotta shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He should be defending right now. It's in there deep. There you go. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. And now he's got the tie clinch. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, crippling knee to the body. So he secures a big takedown here, and that one figures to score some points with the judges. Beautiful job to catch the leg and get this fight down. Now let's see what he can do with it from here. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. 
attack and armbar. Armbar's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. All right, close guard now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so a close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance, maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get the number. I mean, he's got to hope, right? He's got to hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This was a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest, 29-28, Thompson. Judge two scores it, 9-28, Masvidal. And judge three scores it, 9-28, for the winner by split decision, Jorge Gabriel Masvidal. Wow, so there he is.